Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Usisi where G63 is back with yet another video. You know the vibes. Um, now you probably ask me yourself, why does this girl have the same beat? That's because I just finished filming my hair review and I was like, let me not waste a beat. You know, rather just film another video, kill two birds with one stone because others they have allows through. Others they are sick, they have allows through. Okay, so let's get right into it now. I did ask people to ask me questions on Instagram and I'm, I'll be responding to those questions now. And these questions are in no particular order. And the reason why I decided to form a get to know me tag is because most of my subscribers don't know me that well or even on a personal level. So I was like, let me just give you guys an idea of, you know, just to simplify life for everyone. Now, I'm going to start with the basics, but he... How old are you? I am 22 years old of age. Which high school did you go to? I went to Allen Glen High School in the West Rand. And oh god, what a corrupt school. Guys, that school was in grade 8. Almost every Friday after school, there were people fighting. People would bring their pit bulls, their families, their what what. It was just a mess. But I went to Allen Glen High School. If you know Allen Glen, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Where did you grow up? I grew up in the dusty streets of Mamelodi East. I was the dirtiest child ever. I would leave early in the morning to go play, come back at night. Not even, I'd have to be fetched with a hiding story of my life. And my granny would fetch us because the street lights would be on. And I think we all know that as a black child, don't come home after the street lights are on. Like, what are you doing? You're asking for it. You know? What do you do for a living? <laughs> Hi, man. <laughs> What do I do for a living? You really want to know? Anyway, I was working as an account executive for an events company and Coco V said, hold up, that's not your father's country, you know? <laughs> Unfortunately, I did get retrenched and now I just date my mans for a living. I do nothing much, but that, that's my occupation at the moment. Booked and busy, you know, invoices, emails. I'm just there being that girl. Um, what are you studying and which is and at which institution? I'm studying a BCom in marketing management at UNISA. I'm doing my third year. Um, take up a skincare routine, guys. Now, can I just say every time I share my skincare routine, people are like, What do you want to Or they just they laugh, like, What's funny? My skincare routine is pretty simple. I use sunlight green buff on my face. Actually, whatever's there, whether it's Protex, Dettel, sun. My skin is not fussy like that. So I just use whatever. And then I'll... I will toss a Vaseline, apply Vaseline on my face. And then, the, the very important one. Uh, this specific routine, you can get it from your significant other or someone you're entangled with, whatever really. But just make sure that person is healthy. They drink their water, eat their vegetables and fruits, you know. You know, they're just a healthy being. So just ask them to provide it for you. I wish I could say it out loud, but I can't because my sister watches my channel and I'm not trying to traumatize her. If you want to know, send me a DM. I will tell you what to do. Guys, I'm not lying. Batum, batum. Anyway, yeah. So just ask me and I promise you, I'm, I'm not lying to you. It's a thing. It, it's a thing. Just leave it on and then it's gonna like when you do this it must you, can, you must be able to feel the cracks then you know what ah, it's time then you can go wash your face after that oh halalil you are going to glow like this people are gonna ask you wow what's going on with your skin most embarrassing moments of your life i think i was young though um still in high school i had a crush on some guy he was so cute now if you see him you'd run away anyway you know, I was like, I like you. And then he's like, oh, okay. And then he asked me to be his girlfriend, right? Guys, in not even five minutes, he broke up with me. School hadn't even started that day. I wanted to cry. I was like, this guy. And then he went to his friends. They laughed. I was so embarrassed. I, if it were up to me, I could have dug a hole that day and stayed there until after school. If you had to use one makeup brand all your life, what brand would it be? Hmm. I'm all about affordability, you know, because there's a lot of amazing makeup brands, but hey, it's expensive, hey? Eh? So the one makeup brand I'd use, and I think it's pretty affordable, considering the fact that they had a 70% of sale on everything, is NYX, or NYX, whatever you prefer. 
yeah um that's what i use right now it's my girly it's my fire time like everything i use well most of the things i use on my face today were actually from nyx um highlights for 2020 would i have got two number one would definitely be me working at an amazing company that allows me to travel and just you know living my life i was i would like um, corona messed things up for me but i mean yeah it happened to everyone number two would be celebrating a year with my mans um how do you keep your mental being healthy now for mental being i've got four five coping mechanisms right number one would be god and in god that involves reading the bible prayer meditation and just keeping my spirituality leveled number two would be my friends my friends are my diaries I while out they like they are there to listen good bad number three would be my boyfriend he also you know has to listen and i while out he hears me out and that's that number four would be sleeping okay well before sleeping i eat eating is number four i eat 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 food makes me feel good personally i i'm a comfort eater when i eat i feel really really good and then i sleep being number five sleep just makes everything feel better and when you wake up, it just feels like you've dealt with things, even though you really haven't. But yeah, that's what. What inspired you to start a YouTube channel? For me personally, I I've been told and I know that I have an amazing personality. You know, I've just been shy and always considering what are other people than oh, what about home guys? These people upstairs. No man, that's very rude. Anyway. Um, I've always believed to have the, you know, the confidence, but I've, I was shy, I was, well, not shy, but I was scared of what other people are going to say. And I've just felt like there's an nice aspect of my life that I'd like to share on a digital platform like YouTube, so why not do it? I believe I have what it takes, you know. Um, I am destined for greatness after all. You think the name was CCWG 63 fall from the sky? It's not a lie. It's not a mistake. Those things are going to happen. Um, where did you meet your guy? Yo, can I just say this question? I get asked this question so, 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 so many times. So I figured, why not do a story time? We're going to do a story time. But to answer the question, I met him at his house by the gate. Yeah, it was a very weird, um, you know, interaction. But it happened. How has COVID impacted your life? Like I said, I did lose my job. It's just been horrible. And yeah, guys, some days are better than others. But yo, you know, when you wake up and you feel like your life is just stagnant not going anywhere and nothing is happening that's literally how it, it has impacted my life but you know i surround myself with such amazing people who always motivate me and do nice things for me be it by me nice things and i really appreciate it about your friends oh about my friends my friends are amazing people my friends are people i keep close to me my friends are people who are dear to me my friends are loyal if you're my friend you are loyal to me you know um Personally, I feel like people take loyalty very lightly. They don't, well, friendships, people are not loyal to one another. Trust me. In these streets, someone will kiki ha ha with you, but hey, behind closed doors, they are there laughing. When you, the, actually, not even behind closed doors, the moment you walk away, they are busy discussing you. So, my friends are those people, you know, I mean, they're not those people who discuss me, but they are those people who are loyal to me and they, they know what I've been through. So, and I'm that friend and they are those friends that should anything happen in life, you know, be it a funeral, a wedding, whatever, we are there for one another. I'm that friend. If you need me to be there chopping those vegetables, girl, I will go Jamie Oliver on those vegetables. They will know me, okay? Um, what's your favorite ice cream? <laughs> well, my favorite ice cream is a tornado because practice makes perfect, darling. Any pet peeves? Guys, I have a lot, but there's a specific one that really gets to me. And I always tell my boyfriend, like, stop it, stop it, stop it. I hate it. I don't like it. When he leaves the toilet seat open. And I know many other guys do this. Like, after he use the bathroom, please close the toilet seat. Close it. Like, there's no need for it to just sit there like a monster with its mouth open. Like, stop it. Just cover the toilet. And guys don't know how to clean up after themselves. They use the bathroom. It's like they're at a shooting range, just aiming everywhere. Like, find, aim somewhere and stick to it. Don't... There's no need to try other places. Just no, don't do that. Do you have siblings? Yes, I do. I've got two from my mom and three from my biological father that I know of. The reason why I'm saying that I know of is because, guys, we cannot confirm that other gender. Men, yeah, 
men are just men what schools did you go to so with the schools my first school was Edendale Independent School which was in, well which is in Kalinan also known as Peps I was that going yellow and blue uniform to school uh, if you know Peps shout out to you and then I moved to Sharon D from grade 5 to 7 and then later I went to Ellen throughout my high school life and then now I'm at Unisa Lord knows where else I'm gonna go after this your favorite drink baby my favorite drink is definitely a brutal fruit, like a cold brutal fruit, give it to me any other day. Obviously, it's an affordable drink, so hey, any day, I'm, I'm there. But if we are more on the upper echelon side, I'm a yellow label verve girl, okay? Give me that, I will drink it. How do you maintain such a beautiful body and how did you get there? Personally, I, I did nothing to get to the body that I'm at. I just wake up and do what I do and we are here now how do i get the body maintain there's no maintenance sissy here i'm like an absent father to my body no maintenance no nothing i just hope for the best and that's exactly what happens i don't work out that's not part of my brand i just eat my life away and like i said hope for the best but i need to change that because your things are not looking cute what's your go-to meal on a busy day now if you know me you will know that sushi 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 is just that go for me like guys if there's a sushi festival please take me there like i want to go there and just eat my lungs out until tape worms come out of my nostrils i i want to be that girl um are you happy with where you are in life i definitely am despite the fact that obviously i don't have a job right now but i'm happy you know mentally i'm doing well like i said i've got people in my life who just help me you know stay up on days where things are not so great so i i'm happy with with uh where i'm in life who's your favorite youtuber i've got two right now and both of them share the same name i've got naledi m um everybody's fave and another naledi called and how you spell her name is n-a-h underscore lady guys uh her story times <laughs> relevant and are you definitely guaranteed a good laugh there without a doubt what made you so supportive and kind okay now this will be the last question that i'll be answering because we've reached the end oh no i'm lying i'm lying sorry it's not the last one um why are you so kind guys my thing is in life my mantra is just be kind to people number one because you've got nothing to lose number two your blessings will be reciprocated back to you now i'm not sending you out there to do god's work all in the name of getting mm -hmm. blessings in return do it out of the goodness of your heart otherwise don't bother okay um how did you start working at ice store and what was it like oh working at ice store i lit how i started rather i literally walked in and i was like may i please speak to the manager because i need a job and i was ready i had my cv with me like a hard copy and an electronic copy and she was like, okay leave your cv here and we'll get back to you they got back to me in like in the next few weeks uh with all the emails and everywhere i needed to be training and for i trained for two weeks guys working at ice is not easy people think you just say hello here's an iphone please buy it no 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 there's a lot that goes into it you need there's a lot to learn you know uh so yeah that's i literally wore my heart on my sleeve and i approached them and the experience was amazing guys it was amazing really like you get to see people people with money people hey guys it was an amazing experience um i learned a lot i had an amazing manager oh guys love that lady she taught me so much Lerato taught me a lot she you know what she told me she was like every time you get paid i don't care what's happening please just save 10 percent of it put it in your savings and I've, I've never, I've stayed, you know, with that. Like, it stayed with me. And I'm so grateful for that lesson. Last quiz, what is your favorite clothing store? Well, if you are able to notice, my favorite clothing store is Zara. Every, well, right now I'm wearing Zara. So, yeah, if they can just, you know, give me some clothes. That would be amazing. Um, Have you ever dated a girl? No, I've never dated a girl. I don't think I've ever been into girls. Like, even though the, I got to a point in my life where my heart was so heartbroken, I was like, I'm done with boys. I'm gonna date girls. It has never happened. Hey, how's it there by academics? Why? Why? Why are you being this person? Guys, academics is hot. Like, I was never ready, but 
the journey continues okay it doesn't help crying you just have to work with what you have rate your confidence out of 10 on a good day i'd say i'm like a 6.5 bad day two and a half or three guys my confidence is a bit shaky sometimes i i don't even know i don't know i really don't know like ooh. <laughs> Are you ready to have a baby because you're always posting me? No, ma'am, I am not. Those things I expect. Okay, let me not say things because I love babies. Those little people, those little unemployed people are expensive. I'm unemployed right now. Imagine having another unemployed person who depends on me to do what? No, man, we don't need those things. Well, I don't need, I don't need them. Not now. What's the one thing you hope to achieve with your channel? Oh, I really like this one. Mmm... Growth in different aspects, like I said in my intro, working with brands, you know, discovering new capabilities about myself, um, and just unleashing my, my, what's this, potential, unleashing that I'm really, really excited, I'm really excited to grow, and more than anything, I'm excited for people to just be able to relate with me, because at the end of the day, all I know is to be myself, and having people to relate to me as a person, that's just top tier for me. I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, best event you've ever attended. I've got two. Top of the list. Club City Sunday Sessions. Shout outs. Like, no. Definitely a good time. Number two. Bocardi Holiday Club 2020. Guys, that was the best groove in 2020 for me. Like, that. Oh, guys, if you didn't go to Bocardi, like, what were you doing? Please get your life. If the country does open next year, please get your tickets in time because you're, you are guaranteed a phenomenal time. Bacardi was so amazing. If I could redo it, I definitely would. Like, had I known that we were going to be in this situation right now, I would have drank even more than what I did at the time. Um, okay, these questions are more or less the same, guys. Ooh, have you ever gotten into a fight? Yes, I have, guys. I'm that girl. Like, I preferably not. Like, I really don't prefer to do this. But if you want to go there, we can go there. Like, if you want, let's go. But let's not do that. Imagine my beautiful face having, like, a big scar. Like, I'm on the cast of Hizo Hizo. No. No, ma'am. Uh, your first job. My first job was uh, a till packer at Food Lovers Market. Hill Fox. And yo guys, that taught me a life lesson, life skill, skill development. Yeah, but I'm grateful, you know, I've, I've done a lot of jobs, but that one was, yo, hey. Hmm. Uh, how many piercings or tattoos? Do you have any? I don't have any uh, tattoos, but I do have piercings, well, my ears. And I did have a smiley letters over here, but I had to take it out because my mom saw it and she was like, wait a minute. I was like, hey, I'm still living in your house, so sorry. Um, have you ever dated an older man and your opinion? Guys, personally for me, older men, zero. You know why? Because you go there with this, you know, mentality that this person is mature. They've got life together. They know what they want. Goopy. It's a lie. If anything, those are probably the most confused people to ever Go for i mean unless if that's what you prefer go for it sis like good for you for me personally no because no they they probably lying to you for sure they might they have a family they have problems and endless no no i'm not against other people doing for going for it but me no 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 i'm i'm okay all right guys that unfortunately was the last question like i said most of these questions are repetitive but that's it i really try to make this video as short as possible because you i'm not trying to be releasing a whole movie and just me going off about myself and you guys are gonna get bored like i'll see where fits are fits are but thank you so much guys for watching this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe do follow me on my various social media platforms i will link everything down below Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, it's in Puzio.